What's up babes? Today is our inner thigh workout and I will be incorporating a pillow, a mat, and as well if you have a booty band, if not that's okay, I'm going to show you some modifications with or without. Let's go ahead and get started. So one of my most favorite exercises for my inner thighs is called the sumo squat. Now one of the most common mistakes I see are that you're standing too narrow and you can't do a sumo squat with your knees going over your toes because that way you're too much into your toes and you're not in your heels. So you want to make sure you have a nice good wide stance here as we go into our sumo squats. We have a total of 20, making sure that you're really going to be feeling this through your inner thighs so get nice and deep for me. A modification is you're just going to stay up at the top. You don't have to to go as low and you can absolutely hold on to something if you are not able to have good balance or strength yet. So 20 reps, here we go. A common mistake I see as well is that the knees are caving inward. So go ahead and make sure that your knees are pressing out so that way they're in alignment up over your ankles. reps. The next part you're going to go down into is an elevated sumo. We're going to go up onto your toes and drop down. You have a total of 10 reps. Stay nice and low if you can. Amazing job. Let's go to our next one. Our next exercise is going to be our side lying leg lifts. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your top leg and put it behind you with it bent and then your front leg, your bottom leg is going to be in the front and it's going to be our straight leg. So you can do this without a booty band. You want to make sure that you are using the internal of your legs, these muscles here. If you'd like you can use a booty band or you can even add a weight onto your leg right here to add a little bit more extra resistance. So we're going to do a total of 20 reps. And then after 20 wet reps, what you're going to do is you're just going to tap your heel towards your shin and bring it back out, holding it up nice and high for a total of 10 reps. Great work. Let's go ahead and repeat to the other side. Amazing, I absolutely love this one. Then you go ahead and just tap your heel to your shin, back out for 10. Great work. I'm gonna do another one with my booty band on, add a little bit more resistance. So what I'm doing is I'm just going at an angle against that band to add a little bit of resistance. You're going to find that the booty band is just more comfortable, sturdy, durable than any other bands and as well, you get me with it, all my fun workouts. You can get your booty band below. There's all sorts of different levels. They come with a community, diet and a meal plan. Bring your heel to your shin and back out. Good and other side.
good and tap. Awesome, and lastly, we'll go ahead and use our pillow for the very last round of this one. So this is if you have either a ball, pillow, doesn't matter, anything that you can squeeze and work your inner thighs. We're gonna go ahead and lie down and go into our bridges. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and place your feet right underneath your knees. Go ahead and lift your booty up off the ground so that you have a nice straight line all the way from your knees all the way to your shoulders. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a nice good squeeze up at the top, bring your booty down. Lift up, squeeze at the top, bring it down. You have a total of 10 reps. we're gonna go into what I call a star abs. So you're gonna go ahead and take the pillow into your hands, extend your legs, extend your arms out. For a modification, you can just keep it bent like this. So go ahead and bring it back to your knees, drop your heels to the ground, touch your hands up overhead, and back up. Making sure that your back is nice and flat through the whole entire process, choosing whatever modification you would like to choose. Let's go for 20. So great work today, you guys. The number one most important thing as you're exercising is you're releasing endorphins, otherwise known as happy hormones. And that is what's going to carry you through the most energetic, happier version of yourself. So every time, again, you're doing an exercise or you're working on your diet and putting yourself first, you're ultimately just creating that self-love cycle. So great work, and I'll see you guys tomorrow where we're gonna stretch it all out, do some yoga, and have a lot of fun.